My motivation was very different than Kakarot's. My motivation was to be the best, to be the greatest Saiyan alive as I always had been, until Kakarot came into the picture, that is. Kakarot's success was like a demon in my head. How could he be a Super Saiyan when I, the prince of all Saiyans, could not? The intensity of my training was maddening. At 450 times normal gravity, a basic training game became a desperate struggle for survival. Even the simplest moves required every ounce of willpower I had. I wasn't sure how long I could sustain the effort without breaking in two. It seemed like the only thing holding my body together was my one desire. To be better than Kakarot. At times I thought I was losing my mind. Why couldn't I obtain what Kakarot had obtained? It didn't make sense. It was infuriating and it was my fury that kept me alive. I decided to continue my training in the solitude of space, where I would be unhindered by the distractions of the Earth. And when a violent electrical storm erupted in the skies of the planet I was on, I welcomed it. It seemed fitting, like it was an outward manifestation of the storm that was raging inside of me. Then the meteors started coming down, but I was determined to survive and to protect my ship from destruction. It was my only way out, my only way off that nightmarish heap of rubble. I thought I had everything under control, but then the mother of all meteors seemed to appear out of nowhere to claim my ship and my life. Ah! <laughs> Normally, it would have been child's play to blow up that rock, but after training at 450 times normal gravity for so long, it took everything I had, and more! Takarot! Then something just snapped, something inside of me. No! No more! That's it! I don't care! I didn't care anymore! I didn't care about being better than Kakarot! I didn't care about being a Super Saiyan! I didn't care if I lived! I didn't care about anything! And then... it happened! Yes, that's how it happened. That's how I became a Super Saiyan!